Hi, my name is Lloyd from electricsense.com and today I'm going to be doing a very simple, quick uh, demonstration with the Wii uh, Nintendo. So I have uh, on my desk here what you can see, I've got my microphone so you can hear me. I've got uh, a radio frequency uh, meter so we can see exactly what's going on, get some readings. I've got the Nintendo main console with its transmitter unit here and I've got the um, the handheld controller which you use when you're playing the games so let's switch on first the the RF meter so we can see exactly what the electromagnetic radiation is at the moment before we've got anything switched on okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this to show you exactly what happens when I activate this device the, the handheld controller and then I'm going to activate the main console so you can see what happens with the electromagnetic radiation when this is switched on so firstly so just switch this on and you can see that is <laughs> you can hopefully see that we're getting some readings right. very high readings on this just pressed it once if I keep pressing it then we're getting a 0.3 voltmeters which is a peak reading and we're getting between 25 depends where to put it but up to a hundred uh, on the microwatts per square meter so quite high levels of uh, electric magnet magnetic radiation yeah yeah I mean it's certainly yeah and so that's the first thing so and um, that is basically the uh, signal being transmitted between this device and this device and the second one is this so we switch that on which is harmless just uh, the unit in itself but where it becomes you'll see where we get the the RF levels uh, is when we use this device again. For the moment, as I say, repeat, I hadn't even got this switched on, so this alone sends out radio frequency radiation. And now I've got this on, so we've got the, what this is what happened, what would, will happen normally when you're playing. So here we go, I'm going to press this once and you'll see what happens. And there we go. And there we have, I'll just turn it down a bit, we have got a constant signal so as soon as you've got uh, a game in play as soon as you've got this unit switched on and you've triggered it with one of these controllers then you have a constant signal constant level of radiation what that's giving out is between 25 and 50 uh, on an average reading 25 and 50 microwatts per square meter um, and also uh, let's see about 0.2 between 0.2 and 0.3 voltmeters on the peak reading so yeah so yeah I don't want to blind you with science on this but it is just to show you that I mean I think these I'll switch it all off uh, there we go I think these just make sure got nothing going on yeah okay these are a great little toy great little device uh, we've had this for about a year and a half the first time I've had the the meter on it I knew this was bad news uh, I have not been using it my kids have been using it uh, my wife's been using it but for me it's very bad news I can I can sense this is like I can say it's the first time I've had the meter on it is today so I've been able to see exactly what the level of ele electromagnetic radiation is but I knew before today that this was bad news because I could feel it uh, so I, you know, I don't spend any amount of time around this when it's switched on. Uh, whether you use it for your family or not, you know, the thing is, uh, you, as long as you know what it's doing, uh, you know, it, it, it's for you to decide. Uh, I don't. This is not going to be in itself detrimental to your health. That's for sure. But what is detrimental to your health is when you playing this. For long periods of time, uh, when you've got Wi-Fi in your house, 
when you're using a heavy user of a cell phone, when you maybe you're you know spending a lot of time around uh, other uh, electromagnetic devices, and all the, the, what's important is a cumulative thing. So, just that is really uh, it's all about education information, and if you don't know that this is giving out electromagnetic radiation, you need to be wise on that. You can see that with the test and that's what's important education and understanding you know where the dangers are uh, in, in your home this is Lloyd from electricsense.com thank you for your time